Hello, I'm just at the park. Just did some writing in the journal. Just had some quick thoughts as I'm on this walk. If you're going after really good things and you feel opposition, guess what? You're probably on the right path. You're probably on the right path. And there's, there's an enemy that doesn't want you to be on the right path. Doesn't want you to be in the really good things of life. Doesn't want you to have those precious experiences that you came to this earth to experience. He wants you to have pain and sorrow and misery every single day that you exist. He wants you to completely waste this entire life that you have. And Jesus Christ, of course, came to this earth and that, that never, like, we'll have those times where we feel in the dark, like, where's the light? Like, where's the light? I don't know. It, it's there. Christ, Christ lives. He's aware of you. He's, he's, he's suffered for you already, infinitely, more than we can understand or comprehend. And... We can, we can start anew. We can try again. We can restart. We can pick up the chains that we left behind or, or whatever. We can start over, whatever that looks like. You know, I, I love those stories of people that are in prison. And then they, they get out of prison. And they start over. You know, I'll have a link to the B podcast. Check that out. One of my favorite podcasts to listen to. It recently relaunched again. It has an episode about this guy who was in prison and while he was in prison, he created this 2.0 version of himself and he told his wife, he committed, this is what I'll be like. And she was, I, it blew my mind. She'd drive every weekend to, to see him for like a year. You know, she'd drive like four and a half hours to see him and encourage him. And, you know, now he's doing a lot better. He ended up helping a lot of his fellow inmates with some financial freedom stuff i mean sometimes just a little bit of that stuff can make a giant difference for somebody because maybe they haven't been taught that they can do amazing things with their mind you know and i know that there's a lot of trauma and things that people have but there's still a lot of opportunity in there there's a lot of gold there's a lot of gold in there still there's a lot of gold in me still and with life we're all in this mind of life right and once that mind of life collapses, we can't go back in it. And that goes for any experience. So treasure the experiences you have while you have them. I feel like I learn a lot of lessons the humbling hard way. I try to do things my way and they don't go well at all. And you just need to learn to trust God, trust in his light, especially when he's telling you to do something you do not want to do. Because that's a very, 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 there's a very good reason for that. Even if you don't know what it is, you will know in time. You will know in time. And that's the big thing he's teaching me. And I feel more life in my soul than I felt in a while. But I've also experienced more pain in my soul than I've felt in a while. <laughs> and so that is, that is this life. But to numb it out, to face darkness, when in your soul is light and light wants to emerge from the darkness... You cannot let that happen. You must let your light out. You must let it emerge. You must let it touch every single soul it's meant to touch while you still breathe, while you still exist. That is your mission. That is what you must do. You know, there's that quote that like, to know that even one soul has breathed better because I've existed. You know, there's been times in my life where I relied on misinformation or lack of information. I know I've caused some souls and people to breathe less well. And that, that, that wrecks me. That still wrecks me. I think about it. It's in my mind. It's there. I can't go back and change anything. This is a video that I couldn't have imagined ever making like four or five years ago. And that's okay. Because the beautiful thing is that I'm alive. In this timeline, I exist. I can smile. I have God in my life. I have many blessings. And I wouldn't change anything. It's, it's tough to sometimes get to that point, though. Especially when it seems like you're in the dark. Let's find some darkness. Like, we're just kind of hanging out in this little light. If I was, like, over there, you wouldn't be able to see me as well. But, yeah, I haven't made any shorts because I don't want to do any shorts right now. My life is so, like, hectic. Like, it's like, I'm sure there'll be so many gems, but I'm like, I don't want to do it for, like, five or ten views. I don't know. See, that's the low, that's like the, the short, like, like a uh, scarcity mindset thinking. Cause I know there's so much in me. It's actually disgusting 
It's not disgusting. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I don't know. It's just crazy. I could just start this and just start blabbing and something will, I'll say something because I've been doing this for years and it doesn't seem like it's really led to much, but I'm glad it's led to something. It's led to something in my soul. And so if you are hurting because you've hurt somebody, no, you're definitely not alone. I, I have done that. To love much, I have learned a lot of that through, you know, messing up, messing up in that regard. And you do what you can. You continue, you learn from the journey and the process and God's light still shines in your life. He's looking out for you. And yeah, it's, it's real. I think it's so easy to let overthinking thoughts like to like run your life almost sort of like you're driving and all of a sudden you get this like call, but it's not a call. It's like another GPS wants to take over your GPS. Like, Hey, actually I have this good path or I want to do this for you. And it's like, okay, that sounds all right. And all of a sudden it's like, where are we going? Like, and it's so easy to numb out. Like I've done that before where you're just kind of like, okay, I'm okay with this and this is all right. And then you're like, wait a second, where are we? And then you realize like how you feel so weak because you haven't held the, the steering wheel in so long and you don't even remember what it feels like to drive anymore. And you feel like this is what God's chosen for me is this path, this path that I overthought myself into. I, I don't even know where to stand right now. I was like, I guess here's fine. But it's like, God wants you to be happy. God wants you to be joyful. God wants you to learn from your experiences and your struggles and your pains. And yeah, if something is leading you towards joy, I promise you that you will have opposition. That is literally, that is literally the point is to go through this life and to find joy amidst all the opposition and to choose Christ amidst all the opposition and every other voice that is going to tell you that following Christ is stupid. It's not, it wasn't stupid a million years, like however long you would go, you want to go. It isn't, it's probably the, it's the best thing you can do right now. Literally the best thing. I've, I've learned that the humbling hard way, you know, and that's okay. You know, I'm still pretty young. It's like, we can learn from this. It's like, I've been trusted with a lot. And so when I fall, I fall hard because I know I've been given so much. And so, you know, I don't feel like I've done anything like super de duper de duper de duper de duper de terribly wrong. But with everything I have done, it's like well, most of the time I knew better and that was my fault and it was me. And I chose to overthink, I chose to whatever. And it's okay, I'm still here, I'm still breathing. You know, there, there's a lot of beauty in that. God still has me here for a reason and I'm still figuring out why. I think I have an idea and people tell me why. I don't think they have the picture. I think God has the whole picture. I think he saw, he saw so many things that I would do and he sees so many things I can do. And so I need to just keep going and making these little videos that this is all I can do right now. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what's coming up, but I'm just choosing to trust and be patient with him. And I think his timing, that's really hard because sometimes you really want to talk to somebody and it's not happening and you just have to make a decision. You got to trust. You can't sit on the fence, sitting on the fence, literally the most painful thing in the world. You know, most painful thing in the world, make a choice, choose something and be all right with that choice, whatever choice. You're gonna have to live with it. You're gonna have to grow through it. You're gonna have to develop around it. You know, it's like a tree. When a tree develops around something, the tree can't go back to that previous part. Like that tree is built up that way, you know? Even though I have grown as much as I can physically, like I'm as tall as I'll ever be probably, you know? My heart is still growing and changing. My brain is still growing and changing all the time. And so you have to be vigilant, vigilant. <laughs> you have to be vigilant. You have to be so vigilant, vigilant. Yeah, be vigilant. That's totally not a word, but do that, whatever that means. As long as it means being vigilant. Yeah, that's all I got. I hope you are well.
And I know Christ lives. I know he's aware of us. And there you go. God is real. Good things are on the way. Keep trusting, keep walking forward and trusting Christ because he knows you. And he can be your light in any storm and your comfort in any difficult time. I've found that for sure. And he's okay. He's more than okay. He's everything. He can take away any pain. He can help you. And sometimes he might have you face that pain and feel that pain because he needs you to learn and keep going and be refined. Because sometimes pain is a lot of the ways how we're refined is through those pains, through those learning, through that refining process. And preparation is seldom comfortable, man, or woman, or whoever's watching this. God loves you. He's looking out for you. That's all I got. I will talk to you later. Subscribe for more videos and such. And see ya. Bye.